You want to talk about a busy year. The folks like Aaron who are trying to make a Summer Paralympics and then a Winter Paralympics with just about five and a half months, six months in between, it's going to be quite the transition if he makes the Tokyo team to then very quickly get himself up to speed for Nordic. And luckily, he's doing stuff that is fitness-based. We can see the athletes coming onto the straight on the back straight there. And it looks like Daniel is just taking this out. He's going as fast as he can. He must have 10 meters or more on anybody, and that's Aaron Pike who's chasing him down, trying to chase. He does have does have the carrot out there way. to chase, but it's Go also really hard to chase course. because you you chase and worry that you might blow up by the time you get there. So he's going through 46 400. seconds. So that is a pretty tidy split for him, a, a minute and 32 seconds just to touch off the standard. That's the pace he was on over the first 400. One of the things to watch with Daniel is just how effortless his his stroke looks. It's just so, so rhythmical, so fluid, so smooth. And it almost seems like he's not really putting all that much into it. He's definitely putting a whole lot into it. You see Aaron still trying to chase him down, and he's chasing the clock as well. So Daniel's coming off into the last hundred. You, you mentioned that consistency of his stroke. Is that why Daniel Romanchuk is able to, to translate it over so many different disciplines? Look, he's very close to his world record. He is inside the A-team standard. That is the first wheelchair racer we've seen beat the A-team standard today. How about 130.83 for Daniel Romanchuk? Only a second off his world record.